Would you believe it if I told you I haven't conditioned my hair in over a month? Like traditional conditioning. I have leave-in conditioner, I've done leave-in conditioner, but I haven't used like conditioner conditioner in over a month. What do you think? So I've been using that Otis Ate shampoo bar that came in last month's detox box as well, actually I don't know when I'm posting this, in the <laughs> April detox box as well as I bought it beforehand because I didn't know I was gonna be receiving it. So I've been using that for the last month because I wanted to know what my hair would sort of like do if I let it, if I just used a shampoo bar because I was reading on the Audacity website and like some comments that they recommended just using this on its own. They suggested that it's moisturizing and nourishing enough that you don't need an extra conditioner. So I was like, Okay, I mean, let's do a little experiment. I've never even used a shampoo bar. This is the first time I'm using a shampoo bar. And now this is the first time in my life I'm ever not using conditioner. So I was like, let's see what happens and see how my hair does and responds. And, um, and then let's just talk about it. So yeah, I was pretty excited about this because when, like I said, I've never used a shampoo bar before. So I was pretty interested to see what all the fuss was about. Um, I know it's more eco-friendly because you're not using as much packaging. There's no plastic bottles. Um, I do have a little bit of a gripe with the packaging on this, which I did talk to them about because I was very confused why they've used so much language about no plastic, um, you know, without the plastic waste, and then they wrapped it in plastic. They do say that this is recyclable, but there's nowhere on the label that says it's recyclable. There's nowhere that I could find besides contacting customer service themselves that it was recyclable. So honestly, I don't know. I don't know if I believe it, but... Um, does this create less plastic waste than a shampoo bottle? Yes, but I'm still, I, I still just have such gripe with, you know, the wordage that they use and that's all over the website about being sans plastic and then it's wrapped in plastic. So that aside, cause like I said, I did contact them cause I was like, what's the deal? Why did you wrap this in plastic? I don't understand if the mission of the product is, you know, to be plastic free. They did give me like a whole explanation. I can insert it right here so you can read it just, sort of their reasoning of why they decided to wrap it in plastic. They said that it needed to be wrapped in plastic just given its material and like melting and stuff like that. Um, I don't know, I still think that there could have been a better way to do this so that there was no plastic involved whatsoever and this was truly a zero waste product. But um, okay, packaging aside, let's talk about the actual product. Well, I guess it says sans plastic bottle. So I guess that is supposed to protect them from the plastic inside, I don't know. So this is the 552M shampoo bar, which is supposed to be about the 552 million plastic shampoo bottles that end up in the landfill every single year. So 552 million plastic shampoo bottles end up in landfills every year. Formulated to care for both hair and environment, 552M delivers professional quality results sans plastic bottle. Argan and coconut oil is perfect for all hair types. Soap-free formula for comfort and purity of the scalp. Thick natural and restorative lather for deeply repaired manageable hair and volume. So it's vegan. It's supposed to have 50 to 80 washes per bar, um, which is supposed to equal three plastic bottles no nasties, um, where's the rest of the ingredients? So it is, it's like coconut, argan, and then it's got uh, castor, kapuku, orange oil. Well, it says natural compounds found in orange oil. So it does, it does have a little bit of like an orange, it's almost like powdered tang to me kind of scent, which does leave like a, it, it does leave a weird scent on the hair. It's not that it's like, gross but it's it's just different and you smell it um all day at least i've noticed that i smell it all the time so okay let's talk about my experience with it so i decided to go into this never having used a shampoo bar um and then reading that they said it's you know it's supposed to do well without conditioner i was like let's give it a try see what happens i love using conditioner i love using hair masks so to have to forego those things for the next 30 days i was like can i do it <laughs> i mean because i do i have pretty long hair now it's very, it's way past the viewfinder. If you guys remember, I cut it to like up here last February. So I've had a lot of growth in the last um, almost a year and a half now. Um, but yeah, I've really, I've really enjoyed this a lot more than I thought I was going to. And I'm like at the point now where I might not even like want to switch back to regular shampoo. So I do really like the formula of it. I do think it's nourishing. My hair does get naughty still just because it's so, I mean, it is long. So like as I... As I wash it, 
um, it does not, it does not up. So I do need to invest in some sort of like wet brush or like a tangle teaser or something, something to help. So I'm not like pulling at my hair when I brush it because I do brush it before I dry it and like do other styling products to it. But I would say that I had pretty good success with it over the course of the last month. I mean, nobody has commented on like the healthiness looking of my hair. I mean, I have done a lot of um, like the waves, the, uh, the, the deep wave thing. So you guys have commented on that, but you have, nobody's commented really on like, oh, my hair looks so healthy, which usually I do. I mean, I get some comments every once in a while, like my hair looks really healthy. So I've been wondering like, does my hair look less healthy? I do feel like it looks less shiny. I mean, there's still some shine obviously, but um, maybe it's less shiny. Maybe it looks a little bit less healthy, but I don't know, it feels good. It's soft when I dry it. Um, I mean, I haven't noticed that it's like, straw-like or drying out or anything like that. I do feel like it's very soft and like nourished, but maybe it doesn't look as, you know, good without the conditioner. I would say that if you're a fan of shampoo bars, you're probably going to like this formula and it would probably be really successful for you. I do actually still think that I'm going to continue to use the shampoo bar probably more than I use regular shampoo. It's one less product I have to use in the shower. Um, I don't need to use conditioner on the days when it's been a few days since I've washed my hair or I have like dry shampoo or something else in my hair I do still double cleanse so I'll do it I'll go through it once um you know to get most of the gunk out then I'll go through it again to make sure it's really clean which I would do with normal shampoo anyway I would pre-shampoo second shampoo then conditioner so it is less time that I have to spend sort of like doing stuff to my hair in the shower I just shampoo it it does create a really, really nice lather, actually. Like if you're someone who likes a lot of foam, it does in very few passes uh, create a lot of like foaming. I've been using the tra travel size. This is the full size, which I haven't opened, obviously. I've been using the travel size for the last 30 days and granted, I don't wash my hair every single day, but I'm not maybe even halfway through the travel size bar. So a travel size bar itself, depending on how many times a week you wash your hair should last you to two plus months maybe and then this guy would probably last you i don't know three or four which is a long time and it's that's pretty good when you're only having to use one product so i do use leave-in conditioner um when i get out of the shower so i've let my hair you know sit up in my my hair towel and then it dries mostly in there i let it down i spray in some leave-in conditioner which doesn't help detangle unfortunately so i do you know brush through the tangles which I don't have to do when uh, I use regular conditioner, so that's the only thing. I might incorporate a conditioner maybe once or twice a week instead of, I don't feel like I need to do it all the time, but I do feel like a couple of times a week or maybe like once a week doing like a hair mask or something like that um, would be beneficial. So I do the leave-in conditioner spray and then I do the Josh Rosebrook serum spray to help with frizziness and um, heat protectant and stuff like that and then I blow dry my hair and that's pretty much what I do to my hair on a regular basis shampoo leave-in conditioner uh, serum spray <laughs> and I dry my hair I flat I flat iron it and then on day two I will sometimes use that deep waver which I'll leave a picture of right here and I'll also link it down below I didn't bring it in here with me um, and then depending on the day, sometimes I need some dry shampoo. I use the Modern Minerals one. That's pretty much the only one that I use. I have tested out a few others. Um, I am sort of testing out the Kaye Naturals um, overnight one, which is, which I had pretty good success with, but I might try this one overnight as well to see if I just get the same result. Um, Cause I do really love the Modern Minerals one. It's my favorite. It smells really amazing. If you haven't smelled the uh, Modern Minerals hair care. And then when I do, on the days that I do on day two, um, it's always day two when I do the deep waver, because I do like to do it better on day two hair than day one hair, I just think it holds better. Um, I use the Momi Texture Mist. Um, I switch between this and the I Create Waves from Innersense. I like the scent of this one better, so I end up using this one more often, but um, the hold of the I Create Waves is better. So it just sort of depends on your preference and hair needs. And then day three, four, 
etc. until I decide to wash my hair. Um, I'll put more dry shampoo if needed. I'll just refresh the wavers if I've like lost any of the waves in any of the hair. Um, sometimes it'll straighten out when I sleep. Not like completely straighten out, but enough where it needs to sort of be like touched up. And then there are weeks when I don't use the waver and I will just like try to keep it as straight as long as possible. Sometimes I'll go through re-straighten it on day two and it still looks, it still looks good. Um, and then I'll put it in a bun or a ponytail or something and just sort of keep it as long as possible without having to wash my hair. I typically like to wash my hair once to twice a week. Well, not once or twice, two to three times max. I try to keep it at two. So I try to go at least three to four days without washing my hair, just time savings. I just don't have the patience these days. Um, and that's because I don't feel like I need to. I mean, the less, the less you do to your hair, probably the more beneficial. I mean, because my hair's not in any damage. I was looking through it, um, you know, to look, check for split ends. And even though I do heat styling on the regular, I haven't had a haircut in over a year. The split ends are very, very minimal. I just, I take good care of my hair. It's healthy. Um, just doesn't look as shiny. That's the one thing is I think it doesn't look as shiny. And maybe it just depends on the light. I don't know. I mean, like there it's kind of shiny. But yeah, that is my current hair care routine. It's pretty minimal at the moment. So I figured what else I could do in this video is sort of show you my hair care stash, like the things that I have, and we can go through it and declutter it as well because I'm working on declutters. You probably have seen my foundation declutter at this point. You might have seen a blush declutter. I'm not sure where I'm placing this in in video this it could be like a month before i post this video but yeah i'm doing a lot of decluttering i'm going through everything that i own to try to cut down on how much i have giving away as much as i can um so i, I pulled out all of my hair care stuff and i thought that we would go through that as well reevaluate since i'm loving the shampoo bar so much reevaluate all the shampoo that i've got whether or not i want to like continue using it um whether i want to keep it and then donating mostly to my family, <laughs> um, the rest of the stuff that I don't need. So I'll link below my hair tools, uh, the flat iron that I use and the deep waver that I use on my hair. The blow dryer that I use, uh, the company is no longer in existence, so um, I can't like that. So I can't like that, but I mean, it, it's a hair dryer. It's, they all do the same thing. Um, but I love my hair straightener. It's great. It works really quickly. It's um, definitely investing in a high quality hair straightener is essential. I used a, like a Revlon hair straightener for a long time and my hair always snagged in it. It was damaged, it like never really got straight. And then when I switched to a more expensive, higher quality model, it was just like, it was night and day. It's still, it's definitely, it's definitely worth the investment if you're going to flat iron your hair to invest in a high quality model so that you know you're, you're not gonna be damaging your hair on like the really cheap models that it can like snag. The heat can be inconsistent and then you maybe end up using too much heat. Um, but I really love the, uh, the model that I use and it's, it's great, definitely worth the money that I paid for it because it, um, it just, you, it flies right through the hair. You barely have to do more than like two passes to it and it's just, Works great, I've been using it for years and I'm loving the deep waver that I've been using lately. So I'm gonna take you into the bathroom and we're going to talk through my hair care collection and we're going to declutter as much of it as possible. Okay, so I've showed you all of the things that I'm currently using, which I'm just gonna put off to the side right here. This is where I keep all of my hair care that I usually use, or actually just like all the hair care that is like open and has been used at some point. So we'll go through this in a little bit. Um, this back here. This is the stuff that's currently in my shower. So we've got the Desert Essence uh, Lemon Tea Tree Shampoo. This is almost gone. Um, and I'm not sure if I'm going to continue buying this knowing how much I like the shampoo bar, but this has been a staple for me for many, many years for clarifying, for deep cleaning. I've really, really loved this. If you guys go through any of my empties, it's been in my empties for the last few years and I've really liked it. So I do recommend it. I just don't know that I'm gonna continue buying it because I don't know that I need it anymore um, with the shampoo bar, but I barely have any left. I might have like, I don't know, this much left. So there's not much in there. I've also got the Evolve Ultra Shine shampoo and conditioner or the moisture shampoo and conditioner. I didn't realize there was like moisture moisture formulas. I think I'm about half done with each of these. And these are nice um, and I've really enjoyed them. Again I, again, I don't know that I'm going to rebuy these once I'm done with them. Since I am, you know, I'm halfway through them, I will finish them. Um, 
but I don't know that I'm gonna, I'm not, I don't know that I'm gonna buy them again just because I don't think I need them. See, it's like the thing is, I just, I, I feel like I'm changed. I don't need shampoo anymore. I've got the shampoo bar. So I'll finish these. These are great if you're looking for shampoo and conditioner. Um, they're not super heavy, even though they say moisture. I never found that they weighed down my hair. They cleaned it really nicely. It foams up really nicely. The, the conditioner works really nice. So um, yeah, that's what's currently in my shower right now. Oh, there's two more things. Just kidding. So we have the 100% pure uh, kelp and mint volumizing shampoo and conditioner and again these are nice as well but I definitely won't be rebuying these I liked these more than I thought I would I didn't think I was gonna like these at all because the um, I guess the experience I've had with some of the 100% pure stuff is it just hasn't blown my mind I mean and these don't blow my mind either but they're nice they're minty so you do feel like a little bit of tingle mine is this is broken so I have to like lay it down otherwise it all leaks out <laughs> so I've got it sitting like this um, in my shower but again, these are, I'm about half done with each of these, or maybe a little bit more than half. Um, but yeah, again, I don't, I'm not going to rebuy these, but they are, again, good products. I just, using the shampoo bar, I just don't think I'm going to be rebuying most of the shampoo and conditioner that I use. So these are nice. Do recommend if you're looking for a volumizing shampoo and conditioner. I don't know that it volumizes so much, but I don't know that much volumizes my hair. But they're nice, they do like a little bit of a tingle, they're kind of cool, um, but yeah, again, probably won't be rebuying these. Okay, so I've put those things back in the shower. Oh, this is all gross, don't mind this, because, um, <laughs> don't mind this. Should we go through the stuff that I'm already using first before we go through all of my backup stuff? I think that's probably a good idea. I have a lot of backup stuff, but I've got a lot of stuff and we've got this this whole thing down here as well. My goal, because I had it all over the place. I had it in this cupboard up here. I had some hair stuff in there. I had some hair stuff in my closet. I had a hair stuff in here. Um, my goal is for anything that I'm planning on keeping for it only to fit in here. I don't want to put it anywhere else. I don't want there to be hair care products. So oh, this is open already. I guess I can leave this out. I don't want there to be hair care products everywhere. I just want it to be in one one spot. Okay, so this is, I guess this is my current, my current stuff. Um, sometimes I use it a lot, most of the time I don't. So this is the, what is this brand? Saiva? Savia? Saiva? I don't know. Invigorating hair oil. This is actually kind of nice. I like that it's got a pump because then you don't have to hold the bottle, and especially with oily hands, that's like a huge deal. Um... It's got nice ingredients in it. It smells, I think it's got, is it peppermint? Yeah, is it peppermint? What is in this? Well, there's lavender. I feel like there's peppermint in here. Ylang ylang. I don't know, but it's got, it's nice. It's a nice oil. I'm gonna put this to them in the maybe because I, I don't want to keep too many hair oils because I hardly use them. I know that I'm gonna get rid of a couple, so I might keep this one. Um, okay, so this is the Uma Intensely Nourishing Hair Oil. This is the one we got in the Beauty Heroes box in 2017. <laughs> it still smells okay, so I'm still using it. This is what's left. I need to just finish this the next time I use my hair, or I, the next time I wash my hair, I just need to finish this up so I can get rid of it. Would I buy this again? I might. I don't know, I didn't use it a ton, but it did last me a long time without going bad. I mean, the Uma, the Uma oils are extremely potent and um, I do really like them. So I, I mean, I may splurge on this again in the future. I don't know that I use hair oil enough though. Um, so I'm gonna put this over here just for now. So we'll go through the other hair oils that I've got that I use as like hair masks. Um, and then there's one over here. So this is the Innate Light Scalp Treatment. I think this might be, I was gonna say, I think this might be expired. I mean, I've had it a while. If you go back and watch my like Innate Life video, it's from a few years ago, but this still smells okay. So I think I'm gonna finish that. I use it sort of the same way as I use my Uma. Before I get in the shower, maybe a couple of hours before I get in the shower, I'll rub or I'll deeply massage each one of these or one or the other, not both of them. Um, each one into my scalp to sort of like stimulate the scalp. And then I rub like a second, a separate oil, like something like this or this um, down the ends of my hair. But I will massage my hair with either of these ones. I mean, you can see that I've used them. Obviously, this one's almost done. This one's almost done. They've, this one's maybe got a couple of uses left. Yeah, I'll keep this one just because it still smells okay. And um, I'll just, I'll work on finishing it up the next couple of times. Um, 
I look to wash my hair, but I do recommend this if you're looking for a scalp treatment. Definitely do recommend that one. Okay, so hair oils that I've got out. This one made it through my last declutter, but I'm gonna get rid of it because I haven't used it a single time since then. It still smells okay, so I'm gonna pass it on to my sister who can use a good hair oiling. <laughs> so I'm gonna pass this one on to my sister. I haven't used it. I just, at this point, I'm not going to because I've got this, which I much prefer. The Ranavat Mighty Majesty for uh, hair and body. I only use it on hair. I love it. It smells like jasmine. It's amazing. Um, I run this through the ends of my hair after using one of these two in my scalp. So love that one. This I'm also gonna get rid of because it, ha uh, it smells bad now. This is the second one of these Tabitha James Cron hair oils that I've had and they both went bad before anything else. So I don't know what the oils that they're using, I don't know the preservation system they're using, it's, I, I, they, they go bad. So I'm gonna take this stone out of here and I'm gonna toss, um, I'm gonna toss this because it smells nasty. So these are the to-go piles. This is not hair, so let's move that. <laughs> okay, so let's take these things that are like in plastic bottles. Yeah, let's start with this. So this is the Inner Sense I Create Finish uh, finishing spray. It's a versatile finishing spray that provides shine and hold. I do have a full size of this, but I think I'm only gonna keep this because I don't I mean, I hardly use it if I've ever used it. I mostly use texture mists um, if I want hold in my hair, but I'm gonna keep this one and I'm going to get rid of, let's see, is it sitting right here? Yeah, here it is. So here is the big, the big size of that. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this because there's no way I'm ever going to use that. This is the Anesti. Um, what is this? This is the hair and scalp refresher cleanses without water for endless restyling. I tried this a couple of times and I honestly do not understand this product. I liked the idea of it, which is why I got it, but I couldn't get it to work. It makes my hair oily, but it, I mean, it's got oil in it, but it's mostly, I'm going to show you guys the ingredients. Um, it's got, I mean, it's alcohol. It, it shouldn't make my hair oily, but I can't get this to work. And I don't know if it's good anymore, so I'm, I'm just gonna dump it out and recycle the bottle. I don't know. If you've ever used this, how the heck do you use it? <laughs> it says, um, part hair in the desired area of application, holding nozzle four inches from scalp, spray at the root, repeat until all, uh, repeat on all desired areas, massage in with fingertips. Finish by rubbing area of application gently with a damp towel to remove excess product or a dry, damp cloth. This step is essential. Um, blow dry for best results. Yeah, I, I couldn't get this to work for me. And I don't know, maybe I'm just an idiot. <laughs> I just don't understand, but I'd rather use dry shampoo than like ruin second day hair with this kind of product that I then I just have to put up in a bun because I, I ruined my hair. This is the Feed Your Roots um, from Your Rock. I'm almost done with this, but I've also got this which I'd rather use. It's the Inner Sense I Create Lift Volumizing Foam. This works better anyway. It does have honey, so it's not vegan. At least I'm pretty sure it's got honey in it. Um, so it's, yeah. If you're vegan, this is the next best alternative because I don't think there's very many mousse products out there, but I didn't like this one as much as I like this one. And maybe the honey in this one is why I like it because it like has better hold, but I don't know. So if you're vegan, check out the Your Rock Feed Your Roots. If you're not, um, the Inner Sense I Create Finish or I Create Lift, I do really enjoy, so I am gonna keep that. Get rid of that. Okay, this is the Inner Sense Refresh Dry Shampoo. I'm still sort of testing this one. I'm not sure. It's kind of like that, that the other one we just talked about where it's kind of like an interesting product. It's a foam that you emulsify in your hands and then you rub it into your roots. This one also does have honey in it as well. So if you're strictly vegan and you stay away from honey, just stick to a dry shampoo like powder. I'm gonna keep this around just because I wanna keep playing with it because it is an interesting concept and I want to sort of try and make it work. And I do really love the Inner Sense brand. I do have a second one of those. <sighs> do I wanna just get rid of the second one? I think I'm, I think I'm gonna pass the second one on just because I don't think I can get through this one in a timely manner before this one goes bad. So I'm gonna pass this one on. So this stuff is garbage. This stuff is passing on. Okay, so we've also got the Inner Sense I Create Waves, keeping this because I do really, really love it. It's like a salt 
texture mist. It does have better hold than the Momi one. Um, but yeah, I sort of switched between the Momi one and this one. And those are really the only two like texturizing mists I've liked so far. And again, I do have two more of these. I end up with so much, you guys. Um, I'm going to pass on at least one, but I don't think this is a product that's going to go bad that quickly. So I am going to keep a second bottle of it around, um, just at least for now, but I am going to pass one on. So the stuff is all keep. Um, this is not hair that is, oh wait, is that hair? This might be hair. Is this serum spray or a serum? I can't remember. Um, okay, so here are the other few Momi things that I've got sitting out. The hydrating mist, I'm going to keep. I love the hydrating mist. I do have a full size of it, but I'm going to use up the, um, I'm going to use up that. We've got the serum. I think this is, this is serum. So I think she gave me a sample of it before she released it. I'm going to keep the full size and I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of this because I don't, I don't really need it. And then this, these are not hair things. This is a cuticle oil that she doesn't sell. And this is a perfume, which I'm not sure is available right now. So I'm just going to put these things off to the side. Okay. So I've got some Antonin B, um, Antonin B stuff that I'm going to keep because I haven't really played around with it as much as I want to. So this is the backstage cocktail street fix. I think this is supposed to be like a texture mist. Um, well, it says it's a remineralizing hairspray for lift, shine, and soft hold. Spray on wet, dry hair and style. And it's made with rum from Guadalupe. Guadalupe? Guadalupe? So I'm going to keep that. And then we've also got the Backstage Cocktail Editorial Fix, which is... What is this supposed to be? This is a remineralizing gel for shine and firm, movable hold. I think I'm going to give this to my mom because I don't use gels that much. I'm much more like a texture mist kind of person. So I'm going to pass this one on to my mom, but I'm going to keep this and play around with it. And then this is the serum um, for like ends of hair. So I really, I've only got like these two for like the ends of my hair. So I'm going to go ahead and keep both. Okay, so we just have a couple of more. I know it's really dusty and gross up here. <laughs> Um, this is more for like my kid, but I think I might get rid of this just because he doesn't really have long hair that I need to use this on anymore. It's the, uh, dry or leave-on conditioner and detangler from Vivio, Vi, Vivavio, whatever this brand is. I don't know. I found them at Indie Beauty Expo a couple of years ago and I bought a couple of their things. They're just sort of okay. They, they don't really super impress me and I don't really think I need this. So I'm going to try to pass this on to somebody whose kid might need it more than mine. I've got the Sailor Jellyfish Hair Gel. I don't know why I bought this. I think just because it, like the packaging seemed kind of interesting. It's aloe and fur needle. I might give this to my husband. He uses gel every once in a while. I think I'm gonna, I'll just give that to him. And then this is the um, Rose Gold Sunset Sea Salt Spray from Captain Blankenship, which I'm gonna keep. I don't use it all that much, but I might use it a little bit more this summer. And I like the Rose Gold, isn't it pretty? I wanted to zoom in. There you go. Look at that. So pretty. So that's all that I'm keeping here. I need to, <laughs> I need to clean this um, before I put anything back here, but let's start going through the stuff that we've got over here. So I have the Innersense Pure Travel Trio. I'm just going to keep this strictly because it is um, travel and eventually I'm going to travel and I'm going to want to take something with me. So I'm going to keep this. Now I do have two sets of this. So we've got the Innersense Pure Inspiration Hair Bath or Pure Harmony Hair Bath, Pure Inspiration Conditioner and Sweet Spirit Leave-In Conditioner. I've got two sets of that. This came in a detox box and then Beauty Heroes also did a set of it. So I'm going to keep one set of the Innersense Shampoo and Conditioner. So here is, here's all this. <laughs> I'm going to keep one shampoo and conditioner and I'm going to pass on the rest of this. I really don't like the leave-in conditioner sprays, but I think I'm going to give them to my sister because her and my, my niece have pretty thick curly hair that this would really be beneficial for. Um, so I'm going to give those to my sister and then I'm going to find someone to take these because I just don't, I'm not going to get through both with this, the other hair care that I've got in the bathroom or in the, in the shower. I just don't need, I don't need all of it. So I'm going to pass, I'm going to pass these ones on. So we're looking good. We're looking good. We've got the Evolve Ultimate Styling Lotion. 
What do you do with this? For volume, apply to damp hair with more product at roots for added lift, blow dry hair away from scalp for curls, styling, apply to damp hair. Yeah, I think I'm gonna give this to my sister again. I just, it's not a product that I'm going to use. Not a product that I'm gonna use. Okay, this is the Inner Sense Inner Peace Whipped Cream Texturizer. All right, so what do you use this for? Peace, uh, scoop a dime-sized amount into hands, then gently rub palms together. Apply on dry hair to add hold and definition. Apply to wet hair for texture and separation. I could use this when I do like my curls. So like when I do my, um, my mermaid waves, I could use this for that. I'm gonna try it. I haven't used it yet. Yeah, it still smells okay. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna try it for that and see, see what that kind of does for curls. Um, because I don't have to like apply it in damp hair. I can use it on dry hair. So it's just easier for me, easier for me to use. So this is what we've got left is what's in this, this sized container. All right. Before I forget, this is the last of the Pacifica hair care I've got. I want a giveaway when they launch their hair care. I don't even remember how long ago that was. <laughs> so I don't remember how old these things are, but they've never been used. I've gotten rid of most of it and this was sitting in the back of my closet and if I can open it I will show you what's left. <laughs> okay so there's the super kale conditioner and shampoo. There is the ginger root volumizer and then there is the um, style extending balm. Again I'm gonna think I think I'm gonna see if my sister wants any of these things. Um, I just they're very highly fragranced and just I can't I can't handle it, so I was able to get rid of the rest of the hair care, and I just wasn't able to get rid of these things, but I think I'm going to try to pass them on to my sister again, just because they are so, I can smell, they're not even open. They um, they still have their, their little metal seals on. Hopefully you can see, you can't really. They still have their metal seals on. They've never been opened. I can still smell them. I could smell them through the bottles. That's how highly fragranced they are. I just cannot handle that. Okay, I moved some things around just to clear off some space um, so we could put some stuff up here. But I've got this little inner sense pouch, which I had taken most of the things out of. But what else, what else is still in here? I create hold styling gel and I create volume styling lotion, volumizing lotion. I'm gonna find homes for both of these as well. I just, I don't use them. I don't use, <laughs> I don't use hardly any styling products. I just don't see myself, I don't see myself doing that. So I've got all of the uh, Momi hair care. So we've got the full size texture mist, another dry shampoo, the full size hydrating mist, all keeping. And then we've got the styling jelly, which I think, again, I think I'm gonna give this to my mom. It did leak a little. Um, I need to clean that up, but I think I'm going to give this to my mom. I just don't, I just don't use style. I just don't use styling jellies that much. I'm going to put it over there for right now. I've got the Lani tropical hair treatment. It's sort of like a leave in. It's another hair oil um, that you put in before you shampoo. That's still new and I checked it. It's still good. Haven't used that. So I'm going to keep it. I've got a couple of organic chemistry products, a texture spray, don't need because I do really like the texture sprays that I'm using. Okay, I got a little bit interrupted um, and it's a million degrees outside so my AC is running so hopefully it's not too distracting. Um, but I don't remember what I was saying about this but I'm going to get rid of this because I'm just not using products like this right now and I just, I use, I prefer the serum spray from Just Rosebrook. So here is the hydrating hair mask from Innersense, keeping this. I'm going to add that to my shower and then use it maybe once a week with my shampoo bar. All right, we've got, let me just pull all these out. So I have a lot of dry shampoo, way more than I need. This one, I know right off the bat I'm getting rid of. This is the Zabana Essentials Shimmery. It's chunky and I do not, I do not really like that at all. This one I'm also gonna get rid of. It's very, very old from a brand that is no longer in existence. It's skinny, skinny. I think I used most of this. That doesn't feel like there's very much in there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of that. This is the One Love Organics Healthy Lock Stray Shampoo Powder. Have I used this? I can't even remember. Yeah, it's open. Still smells okay. I think I might keep this one. Mm, then I've got these two from, what company is this? Uh, I don't even know what company these are from. Green and Gorgeous Organics, it looks like. So we have a grapefruit and sweet orange and a lavender and bergamot. 
I feel like I want to keep one of them just to try the formula, but I, yeah, I definitely don't need both. So do I want lavender and bergamot or do I want grapefruit and sweet orange? I don't think I've used either one of these either. I think these are still brand new. Hmm. I think I might keep uh, grapefruit and sweet orange. That one sounds pretty appealing. So we're going to get rid of that one. Just don't need it. We've got the Takasume Detox um, Overnight Dry Shampoo. I have been testing this one and I am enjoying it so far, so I'm gonna keep that. This is the Mermaid Dry Shampoo from Captain Blankenship. We got the Organically Wonderful Dry Shampoo, which I bought because it was in like a pump. And then we've got the Beauty by Earth Dry Shampoo and Volume Powder. Ugh, I kinda wanna keep them all and then do like a, like a dry shampoo video. I think I might do that. And then like which one is the best ease of use, things like that. Okay, so I'm gonna keep all those even though I probably shouldn't because <laughs> I really only just use the Modern Minerals one. This is the Josh Rosebrook hairspray. I'm gonna get rid of this, just don't use hairspray. And then the Josh Rosebrook lift. I'm also gonna get rid of this. I just haven't used this in such a long time and I'm preferring the iCreate lift mousse from Innersense when I do want something with volume, so I'm gonna get rid of both of those. Uh, we have another styling jelly from Modern Minerals. I might keep this small one, but I definitely don't need the big one. Okay, we've got, oh, this is the brush that went with the Green and Gorgeous. I'll just get rid of that because I really don't need it. So we've got some trial samples of the Rawa Hydrating Shampoo and Conditioner. I do wanna give these a try because I did not like the original formula, so I'm curious about this one. Plus they're just trial sizes. We've got the St. Tropica Organic Coconut High Oil Hair Mask. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this because I have other oils that I need to use. And uh, I'll just give this to somebody else. We've got the, where is it? The Golden Waves Shimmer Spray from uh, Captain Blankenship. This is the one that's the gold, um, the gold one, which all the mica is down at the bottom. Let's see, let's shake it up. Shake it up. I'm gonna get rid of this one. I just love watching it like swirl though. Look at that, isn't that so cool? I have the rose gold one. I really don't need two different shimmer sprays. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this one. And then this is a box for the rose gold one. I don't need to keep the box. That's just taking up space. We have two more things in here. We have got the mermaid sea salt hairspray. I, again, I don't need this. I have a bunch of other texturizing mists and I've used this before and I haven't been super impressed with the hold on that one. And then we've got the hair oil. I have not tried this, I don't think. I think I'm gonna go ahead and keep this. Yeah, it smells pretty good. And I only have two other really sort of like hair serums that you would put on like the ends of your hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep this. It does smell really, really good. Um, I think I'm just gonna get rid of the box. I don't really need the box. So this is like the keep pile. This is all get rid of. So I'm get rid and getting rid of a ton. So let's put it all in here. Oh, this in case you're interested. This is just a kit of like super, super minis. These are like even tinier than the travel sizes of all of the Momi hair products that I'm definitely gonna keep. I keep this around for like when I travel. So I bring like a tiny texture mist, a tiny dry shampoo. So I am gonna keep that. All right, so I wasn't filming when I was just talking. So I'm gonna have to do that again. <laughs> This is everything that I'm keeping and it all fits in this one bin, which was my original plan. I wanted everything that I was keeping to fit in here. Um, I didn't want there to be any overflow because I don't want to store it in multiple places. I want all of my hair care in one bin. And now that I've, now I've done that. So, I mean, I've got the stuff out here that I use on the regular, which I still might go through this and clear out some of these things and just like put them away or find a new place to put this stuff. I might try to put it under my sink because I don't really need this stuff sitting out here like this. Um, but this is all the stuff that I'm gonna be getting rid of. A lot of hair care, I'm very proud of myself. And um, this is what I wanted from the beginning was for this stuff all to fit in here. And now it does. So the places where the, the other hair stuff was just congregating is now cleared up. I'm doing really good on decluttering and getting rid of a lot of stuff lately. I'm very proud of myself. Stuff is not going to be going to waste. <laughs> um, and yeah, I just, I don't do a ton to my hair. I do very little styling. I do very little washing these days, you know, aside from the, the dry shampoo or the shampoo bar, which I just put this in here. Um, 
I just have a, I just put this in here and I, I, I ditched the box so it's just less, less to store. So yeah, this is gonna go back in my closet in the little area that it goes in and um, I'll mess around with this and uh, see what I wanna keep out on a regular basis and all that stuff. So yeah, we're gonna go back into the bedroom for a, a goodbye. All right, so that is everything that I've got for this updated hair care routine, going through all the hair products that I've got, decluttering a bunch. Very proud of myself, and now I just need to work on finding new homes for that stuff. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Um, I don't know, what hair care products have you been loving lately? Maybe I'll give you, maybe I'll give you a vote. What would you like to see decluttered or organized next? Because I'm working on a lot of organizing, decluttering, clearing out just sort of what i'm doing during quarantine i guess it's like the thing to do so yeah i hope that you guys enjoyed i will see you guys in my next one bye